Yo! 100,000 subscribers! Woo! Thank you guys so much for 100,000 subscribers. As promised, we got a Q&A video for you today. I ended up asking YouTube questions in two different posts, and I asked Instagram some questions too. If you didn't see those posts, it's probably because you're not subscribed, and you need to. So uh, definitely do another Q&A in the future. So if you want to be in that Q&A, just make sure you go to the post and you just stay active on the channel. Yeah, I appreciate everybody that asked questions and let's get into it. We made an agreement before this, everybody gets one question. First question from Frankel Wadowski, 3206. How's it going? Going pretty good. Going pretty good, you have 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> 100,000. <laughs> that is insane, like uh, absolutely insane. Literally making my dream come true. All right, next question. Um, Some random guy. 4149 asks, is Julie going to start her own YouTube channel? So, Tia really wants me to, <laughs> but I'm a little bit busy at the moment. I'm kind of doing my own thing, but... What are you doing? I'm in cosmetology school. So, I'm working on that, trying to get licensed to be a hairstylist. <laughs> um, if you can't tell, her hair is slang. Yes, but I will be in Tia's videos as always. All of his content, I'm always there. Um, and maybe one day, if Tia can convince me good enough. You guys need to type in the comments right now, Julie, start your own YouTube channel. Give her some motivation, all right? Because I can't do it by myself. Literally, she won't listen to me. But uh, but yeah, I think Julie should start her own YouTube channel. All right, next question. Um, Lone Savior said, what's your favorite and least favorite muscle to train? Julie, I'll let you go first. <laughs> okay, so my favorite is definitely back. I love back day. My you can't tell, day. she's got wings, all right? What can I say? But I don't really like arm day. <laughs> I just feel like it gets boring for me because I can, I like curl the 10s and the 15s and I'm like, well, okay, now what? <laughs> Great arm day, <laughs> Julie. Um, but you know, it's okay. I'm getting there and it'll probably be more fun for me one day. But for now, not loving arm day. That is just so crazy. <laughs> My favorite has got to be arm day. You know. Yeah, big shocker. Julie, I don't know how she doesn't have fun on arm day. I love arm day, all right? Uh, my least favorite. Um, let's be real. The noodles themselves. Legs. I hate doing legs. But, uh, no, I promise you I do hit legs. I we never skip legs. I yet. never have skipped legs in my entire life. Okay, that's a lot. He is a reformed leg day skipper. Actually, matter of fact, we have legs right after this recording. No, do not say Sorry that. Sorry to remind you about that, Julie. Julie's second least favorite day. Is legs. Archie Wilkes asked, who inspired you guys to start lifting? For me... Definitely Tia, because I did not go to the gym at all before him. Um, and honestly, our whole friend group goes to the gym. And I was kind of like, well, if I'm going to be friends with them, I guess I have to go to the gym. And I'm with Tia all the time, obviously. So I was like, well, I guess I have to go. And now I go every day. <laughs> yeah, a matter of fact, before we started making videos, um, Julie didn't even go to the gym. Even for the first, like, five videos I made with Julie, <laughs> she literally didn't go to the gym. She literally just came to the gym to make the videos. But yeah, who inspired me to go to the gym? Um, I mean, my, my dad and my entire family really has always been pretty into fitness and the gym. But uh, I was really just like a hardcore gamer from like 12 to like 17. So I didn't go to the gym much between those ages. And I actually, at my first job when I moved here, um, I, I had a friend that uh, he got me into lifting. His name's Josh. He, he actually helped me through a hard time in my life, and uh, he got me through it through lifting and uh, making my muscles bigger to repair my heart, I guess. My heart, heart's a muscle, you know? And just like he, he saw himself in me, and uh, I appreciate him because he really got me to where I am today. So much love, Josh, if you're seeing this. Probably not, though. <laughs> so yeah, next question. Um, Sussy Luch Clips asked, how did you and Julie meet? This is a long story, but long story short, all right? So first, I went to the gym, all right? I was benching the 120 pound dumbbells. And I was like, oh my God, that's more than my body weight. And that's kind of hot. She literally thought it was so hot. So that was the first time I met Julie. <laughs> and then I had to get her number, but she left before I finished my workout. So I couldn't get her number that day. So the next day I saw her at the gym no on the way. pec fly machine. All right. And I was like, man, how do I get this girl's number? Like, what's the strategy here? So I asked her, hey, can I work in with you? And then she was a goblin. And I put the weight to max stack. She put the weight all the way down and tried to troll me. She's trying to give you a good chest pump. And then I easily did it because I'm a Sigma male. Patrick Bateman, motherfucker. Shut up, shut up. Okay, that's not true. That's not true. That's not how we met. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically, one of my best friends, Max, he's dating Julie's sister. He's engaged he, now. 
Well, he, oh yeah, they're engaged. They're engaged. Now. Whatever. Anyways, yeah. anyways, basically, Julie would just come over, hang out with her sister, and then Max would say, "Yo, Tear, Julie's here. Come over." And I was <laughs> and like, he would just be there every time. I would just somehow every appear. Every time, Tear would be at my sister's house. Somehow. <laughs> and I rizzed her up. I rizzed you up. That's you literally, literally like did. you rizzed me up by looking at me one time. She had neon orange hair. I did hair. have neon orange hair. We met like Haley Williams, neon orange traffic cone. Hair. She looked like a traffic cone, and that's what I found attractive. Manny thirty four forty seven asked how to grow a good mustache. Here. Julie, I think you're more. Oh, you think mine? Yeah, I think you can answer this question. Yeah. All right, whatever. I got it. <laughs> how to grow a good mustache? I mean, I'm sorry, bro. If you don't got that dog in you, you don't got that dog in you. That's all I gotta say. This mustache is all genetic. Um, you can't really do much to like grow it more. Um, I guess one tip I can give you is just commit to the mustache at least once. You gotta try it out and uh, give it like a month or two. If you don't have a mustache by the second month, you might just have to say screw it because yeah, I, it really is all genetic. It just depends on how much hair and the hair thickness of your upper lip. So hey, if you don't got it, you don't got it. But hey, maybe you maybe you can do something else. Maybe you can get like the chin strap. Or, don't like, do that. Yeah, don't Bad do that. Advice. Or or like just. Just grow the entire beard or if something. If it doesn't work, just don't. Grow the unibrow out, too. I can give you a tip, and it's don't listen to Tear. Next question. Mark Mancy asked, how do you get cool? Being Tear and Julie. Be us. Be us. Be us, basically. Yeah. I name is this, 0096, asked, why are you throwing a ball at Julie? Because she deserved it. I literally didn't. She was being bad. It was really scary. She literally was not making videos. And if Julie doesn't make videos, she doesn't get paid. And if Julie doesn't get paid, she gets thrown a ball at. That's all I'm saying. He doesn't feed me if I don't make videos. If I, don't, I don't feed her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question. Ardius6170 asked, how tall are you and how tall is she in centimeters? Um, let's go find out. Um, Calculation time. I think I'm like 196 or something. Six feet and five inches is equivalent to 195.58 centimeters. So I'm like 195 to 196 centimeters. So I am about 165.1 centimeters. Now we know. Next question. User FJ3QC1QH8C asked, are you and Julie dating? No, I pay her to be in my videos. They're gonna believe you. <laughs> we are dating. Anyways. Answer the question. What's the question? Are we dating? Are we da yes, we're dating, Julie. GigaChad1745 asked, How does it feel to have a girlfriend? <laughs> feels pretty good. How does it feel, Julie? It feels really good to have a girlfriend, bro. Feels especially when it's me. Especially when it's Julie. <laughs> the Loon team asked, Is creatine a must have? Do you take creatine, Julie? No. Do you take creatine? No. I don't even know really what creatine does. It's not bad. It's not like it's bad. Um, basically what creatine does is it just helps store more water in your muscles. So basically just giving you like a little bit more energy and gonna give you like one or two more reps in the gym. But uh, yeah, I think it's a really good supplement and it's definitely helpful in the gym. You know, it has good impact. It's good for your muscles. If you drink enough water, that's the key. But sadly, I tried it one time and I was just having really bad problems with my skin. I was getting really dry. I already have, I, I just have really dry skin. So I literally got eczema from creatine. It was terrible. So it was kind of just like not worth it for me. But I do recommend that everybody gives creatine at least one chance. If it works for you, it works for you. And it's a really helpful supplement. Cool. I definitely don't think it's a must have, but it's a- Could be right for you. It could be good for you and definitely try it out. Uh, next question. User GE5CX9BS9V asked, What's your go-to pre-workout? There's one go-to pre-workout, even though I'm not sponsored, Bucked Up, Woke AF is the best pre-workout there is. Julie can attest, it's really good. I enjoy. It's really good. Um, next question. The Man 34 asked PRs. <laughs> Julie doesn't even know her PRs. Do you remember I have them? Tira remember them for me. All right, I remember Julie's PRs. I'll let Julie go first. So Julie, <laughs> binge PR. 80, 80 pounds. pounds. I know that one. Because I just did it and it literally was really hard for me. Even though 75 is really easy. Was it 75? Yeah, 75 was really easy and then 80 pounds was really hard for you. That's exactly what happened. The video is up on my channel. Go check it out. She got this stuffed animal for hitting 80 pounds on bench. And then deadlift, 155 pounds for Julie. And squat, <laughs> we haven't really determined our PR on squat. She kind of isn't very good at it. 
it just hurts. I have really bad hip pain. Yeah, she just. So I'm trying to work that out first. She goes to like 95 pounds. It's easy, and then uh, 96 pounds, she gets crushed by the bar. So I don't think it's like a muscular issue. It's kind of just like her hips and everything just kind of hurting. All right, and my PRs: uh, bench press 355 pounds, deadlift the big 500, and uh, squat 425 pounds. All right, next question: uh, Lack of desire 6006 asked. She's the dom, isn't she? That's not even a question. That's a fact. <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> the man 34 asked, do you read every comment or read new comments on old videos? I read every <laughs> single comment, actually. Um, I used to not read them as much, but I noticed uh, on YouTube, there's this feature in like YouTube Studio that literally like you can go through all the comments from like newest to latest. So I will sit there for a couple hours at night, sometimes just reading your comments. So I do it, I do it as much as I can. I'm a little busy. I, I, I got a job outside this, but... Uh, yeah, no, I, I read almost every single comment. I definitely, I reply to as many as I can. It's, um, I don't even pay attention to Julie when I'm doing it. She gets a little upset. Yeah, I can confirm. He'll be on his phone for like two hours. I'm like, Tia, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's like, I'm answering comments. I'm like, great, I'll see you in an, another two hours. When I'm reading the comments, you get my attention, all right? Julie gets none. Next question. Um, you look like Arak. I know. Do it fart or queef? And are you Drake slash Billy Eyelash? Or LeBron, Michael Jackson? That's what? a crazy question. Yes. Yes. All right. Moving on. Now we're going to Instagram's questions. Uh, by the way, I appreciate everybody that's uh, taking time out of their day to ask us questions. Because without you, we wouldn't even have a video. True. Or any subscribers. True. Profez asked, what's your height and weight? I am like about, like I'm basically 5'5". She's 5'5". Five five. Five. I'm basically 5'5". Five five, and I weigh 455 pounds. And I am 6'5". And I weigh 210 pounds. Ooh. All right, next question. Um, Ross4 asked, who said I love you first? Tear? No, Tear accidentally. I did not yes, say it did. first, dude. Well, Tear thinks I said it when I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, she said it to me, not while she was sleeping, but while she was falling asleep. I think you. She whispered it to me, and she will never admit it. I literally heard it, dude. I don't remember that. I have zero recollection of that. Every time I, don't, I don't remember saying it to you either. Well, my... Ever. You're so weird. <laughs> Um, my memory of it is that he accidentally said it first, and then an hour later, I confirmed it. Because it was like, oh, I'm not just going to pretend that didn't happen. Who do and you believe? Said again. We yeah. said it at the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll agree to disagree. Roxed asked, favorite post-workout food? Lemon, pepper, chicken, and rice. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon, pepper, chicken, and rice. Lemon, pepper, chicken, and rice. Yeah, yeah. really good, really good. Or chicken nuggets. MLD. 1104 asked, did he have that build when you met him? Um, so he, I mean, he was definitely pretty jacked, but he was a lot more lean before. He, what are you he, saying? He just bulked up. It's a good thing. You got uh, bigger. If you whatever. didn't get bigger, that'd be embarrassing. Whatever. Um, yeah, no, but I mean, he, I mean, he, he was pretty big, but he just got a little more, yeah, a little more bulky. Got a little more meat in my bones. I started feeding him. <laughs> Literally, though. <laughs> Couldn't take care of myself. <laughs> no, I weighed like 190 pounds when she first met me. And now I weigh 210 pounds. Big. Big. And if she met me four years ago, I would have been like 145 pounds. So I don't know if she's still like Still me, in the kid. No, sure. That's what that's what she says. Next question. Irex GT asked, damn, she got big arms. Proof. That's not even a facts. question. That's just facts. Oh, that <laughs> arm day that you like fucking skipping? Yeah, that's doing you good. You apparently got big ass arms. And then here's the last question, Julie. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Ron TVK asked, when you plan to marry? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not Anyways, the concern of the moment. <laughs> not the concern of the moment. Alrighty, that is going to be it for the Q&A. Thank you guys so much uh, for 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. This is literally like the most surreal thing ever. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, when I was eight years old, I literally wanted to be a YouTuber so bad. I have a YouTube channel from like, I, I did it from when I was eight to like, 15 and really I have like good videos you're missing out on I have like I have <laughs> I had like 300 videos on that channel it was literally it's been my dream my entire life to be a youtuber and I'm starting to feel like I'm actually like becoming one and uh it's all because of you and I I love you for it I appreciate every single person that likes comments or even just takes the time out of their day to just watch my videos it's making my dream come true like I said like it's so crazy yeah tier definitely puts his whole heart and soul into his videos i can promise you that so crazy i can't i can't even put in the words how much you guys are changing my life and uh, i mean julie also changing my life because if she wasn't my videos they wouldn't do as good so <laughs> i'd be at probably like a thousand right now instead the of a hundred thousand so the team. the team but uh 
yeah, literally, I love you guys so much. I hope that just there's some way that I can get back to you guys in the future because, uh, you know, you guys are giving me so much and I want to bless you guys too. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for 100K. Literally, uh, we're definitely going to do another Q&A in the future. But for right now, this is what we got for you. And uh, yeah, just make sure to drop that like and also comment down below. Tell Julie to make her own YouTube channel because <laughs> she needs motivation. Literally, I can't do it myself, guys. I need you to help me. Get this girl to make herself a YouTube channel. Because, uh, I mean, let's be real. More Julie content, the better, right? All right. See you guys later.